Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live base build video. And uh, if you can't tell by the town hall, I'm on my second account, Bisectatron Jr. And in this video, uh, I'm doing a Town Hall 8 base build. So this is an 8.5 account actually, but it pretty much has none of the new uh, defenses and stuff. It's basically a Town Hall 8 that just has Town Hall upgraded because I haven't played on it for a while. So uh, I did the Town Hall upgrade and kind of stopped there. Um, so let me know in the comments if I do accidentally add something that shouldn't be there But I'm pretty sure that uh, besides like the Archer Queen uh, Pretty much everything is Town Hall 8 level how it should be I might have upgraded a few of the uh, Buildings, but that doesn't matter as long as I have the right amount uh, Should be good there. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a Town Hall 8 base built um, As far as the walls go I did build uh, I Think it's 25 walls so I'm just not going to put in 25. I have 24 pinks. So I'll leave out one of the uh, blue walls. So that should be good there. Besides that, I think we're good. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this started with the clan castle as usual. Uh, throw it down right in the center here. And uh, that's always a good thing to do, I think, especially in a Town Hall 8 base. Um, I'm going to have one kind of obvious double giant bomb spot. But I'm not going to put uh, the double giant bombs there. Uh, so air defenses, keep them towards the middle, but not too clumped up is my advice. Um, but anyway, just to talk a little more about why I'm doing this, a lot of you guys uh, have asked for this. And in addition, I really don't have any attacks to show because uh, we just had a pretty bad war where uh, the clan we matched up with was a kind of a farming clan. So that wasn't a very fun war, nothing to show from that. And then... Uh, wanted to mix it up with this Town Hall 8 video. So anyway, um, Valks aren't too big of a threat, so I can probably have a few buildings touching each other and get away with it. Uh, not a, too big of a deal there. But anyway, we're going to have this little core of the base um, that uh, looks like it's going to have this double set of bombs here, but it's actually not. So we'll keep that in mind. I'm going to do it with a test, little test the trick here. And you always want to be really sneaky on your Town Hall 8 base when you're deciding where to put the double giant bomb set because uh, the first hit is everything here. The first hit really is everything. So if you can survive one attack, you're, you've done your job pretty much. Uh, and I think everyone would pretty much agree with that. So anyway, we're gonna put the uh, Tesla there. Uh, we're gonna have to throw a defense like up here at some point. So go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, and then we'll just have some uh, more of these high HP buildings just kind of in the area uh, we can fill in like in this compartment we can put an archer tower over here uh, right like that should be okay and uh, we'll just go like that and then we'll fill this compartment in right here uh, right out of those walls so we'll do these I'm not too experienced I don't build these bases very much so let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. Uh, hopefully it lives up to some of my Town Hall 8 viewer standards. So anyway, let's get this third air defense, kind of keep that triangle formation set up. We want to have a third double giant bomb spot, so we'll just have it right like that. This will be the last spot. Um, you can see, uh, yeah, I think the air defenses will be fine. And that one's a little bit far out though, if the, my only concern. Actually, what if I just switch the cannon? I, I don't think they'll be too clumped up if I do this. And, you know, no one's really using air anyway, so not that it matters that much. But any, we'll keep it like that. That should be a little bit better. Uh, there is the chance of people doing a go valo, but uh, sometimes you just got to take your chances on some of those. Can't defend against everything, I guess, especially at Town Hall 8. So uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll have a potential diagonal, actually. That, that would be even better. So we'll have it like that. We'll have a little wall piece here, um, over one. Okay, and then we'll just close this off. Uh, we can throw some. Uh, we can do. We can put the king over here. Actually, let's keep the king off out of the way. Uh, from the double giant bomb spot, just put some HP right here, and then uh, we can close this off we need one more building here uh, we can put like a gold storage here also that helps defend the uh, air defenses in case some dragons come at them because you know I guess you do see it 
every once in a while so gotta uh, still be prepared for that okay um, from here let's start building out the other to the other side uh, we can have in keeping in close you know in, in mind the the CC because we want to make sure that uh, you know the base is because it's, it's hard to conceal the CC at uh, Town Hall 8 so want to make sure that the base doesn't extend too far beyond that uh, but what we can do is uh, let's move this here let's uh, put another Tesla in here that way that'll help the pathing on the double giant bomb set and uh, we can put like an archer tower right there uh, that looks good um okay we'll make a little compartment like this have a uh, we'll do a wizard tower and then just close it off like this um, we can actually we're gonna wanna, probably want to make this uh, extend far enough that at least in one direction that it covers the CC so let's go out like that yeah okay that's fine um, how should we do this we can just throw that up there throw that there and yeah okay kind of a big compartment but that's fine uh, we'll put that around like that throw a few buildings in here and I think we're we're good to go uh, for that compartment okay uh, from here just kind of working our way around the base a little more uh, we'll probably end up throwing like a mortar out here is my guess uh, but to continue filling this in we want to have yeah check that range again uh, we can have kind of a skinnier compartment take some of this out um, and close it like that so that will be fine go ahead and just fill in the rest of these compartments I guess uh, we'll put that there then uh, close it a little farther out um, right like that still good on walls and then uh, yeah okay that looks good so far um, we have those compartments and then we're going to want a few more uh, like this there's one still have 33 walls so we'll see what we want to do here in a moment uh, we can kind of have one going around like that and then for the final 15 let's have one more compartment like that so uh, actually I don't, I don't have 15 if I remember correctly yeah um, like that make this a little bigger here and then okay great there's the 25 that I said I couldn't use uh, I, at some point you go ahead and just fill in all the compartments I think that's what I usually do on my bases at least uh, so you can see I have the double giant bomb set just kinda kinda work around it um, as far as my king I'm gonna go ahead and throw him right over here you have to be kinda wary of the king swap so I'm gonna make sure I throw a defense here um, and then have an archer tower here to help defend him want to make sure he doesn't get uh, you know hit with a king swap and then just kinda work my way around the base I still have um, a few mortars wizard tower um, I'll put the wizard tower over here throw the uh, the archer tower back here put the cannon out there uh, let's actually get rid of this high HP put it there um, have a few more buildings left we want to put some point defense over on this side that looks good lacking some point defense up top let me see where I put everything um, yeah okay we can what can we do here uh, let's put this archer tower up here just go ahead and substitute a mortar in there and I think we're pretty much good as far as the defensive layout goes uh, for my Tesla I have one more to put down I'm thinking I'm gonna throw it uh, well yeah I'll probably throw it oh, keep dropping this wall by accident there we go um, I'm gonna throw my Tesla right here kind of a surprise the hogs won't expect it and then I'll have some 
I'll do double spring traps. Double spring traps can work though, guys, because at Town Hall 8, you gotta kind of take your chances, and sometimes uh, that's the best bet. I'll throw my final giant bomb. Oh, I have the air sweeper. I didn't even put that thing down. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I never even put it down, but not a big deal. I'll just, uh, where should I put it? Uh, I'll just put it over here. And because uh, the, the air defenses are kind of shifted upward, so in case they come from the top, boom, there's an air sweeper. Okay, that's good. I uh, think we're pretty much good. From here, we're going to put some giant bombs down. Uh, after this mortar goes down first, actually. We can throw the mortar up here. Okay. That's fine. Uh, start filling in. I, I usually just use collectors to fill this stuff in. I'll have to use two there. Uh, throw a builder's hut there. And then one here. Okay, yeah, the base is looking pretty good. Uh, I have to put this last giant bomb down, so uh, I'm thinking I'll throw it. Uh, hard to know, but I think a good spot would be. Uh, let's just put it over here. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Actually, you know what? Let's put it over here. Yeah, that's something they won't be expecting quite as much and uh, might trip them up. Let's put this mortar here to help defend it. Okay, uh, spring traps now I think is what the next thing we should do. Assuming we have all the defenses down, yeah. Oh, it's nice not having all those flags like I do on my normal account. Okay, uh, spring traps, let's put, we have the two there. We can throw one here, one here. Uh, part of it is looking where the the giant bombs are not and putting it there because that's where the hogs would typically go where the giant bombs especially the double giant bomb spot where that isn't that's where hogs tend to go but regardless we still want to keep it spread out so we'll put one final one here so I think we're pretty good all around the base now I'm thinking they might come from the top and then try to use uh, air stuff on the back side so I'm gonna just completely uh, saturate this entire side with uh, air traps I have some archer towers, which is also helpful, um, some wizard towers, so we'll just completely uh, just pack it in. I'm a, I don't think they're going to use dragons, and if they do, that's kind of a victory. If you make them use dragons on your base, it shows it's doing something right on defense because it's making it so they can't use hogs or valks. So I'll take dragons. If they want to come up from the north, you know, maybe they have a shot, but uh, I'm more worried about ground attacks because that's... 95% of what you see at Town Hall 8. So you kind of got to sell out to one thing in a way. Uh, from here, I'll throw the Town Hall up top just to put some HP in case they do use a dragon attack. And then just kind of go from here, just surrounding the base with this kind of stuff. I think I used all my, oh, the small bombs. That is something uh, we, should, we should talk about, we should use. And uh, I think on this base, not no place is popping out but i think this top area is a little uh void of any kind of trap type stuff so uh we can throw our bombs here and one thing the difference of town hall 8 versus town hall 9 is that town hall 8 you have to uh be a lot more worried that the uh the hogs are going to go deep in your base at town hall t uh, 9 you can kind of count on Okay, the hogs are probably just going to kind of stay towards the outside. The Valks will be in the middle. But uh, the hogs will run through your entire base, especially on a cleanup attack, if they can get that double giant bomb set triggered, uh, which is why you typically want to have it pretty deep into the base. Uh, you can see here, they're, they're not going to trigger it with sacrificial hogs, just looking at how many defenses they have to take out to get there. Uh, yeah, because then the hogs will probably go from there to some of these two at some point. Just not a good situation for the attacker. I mean, it could be done, but it would definitely take a big sacrifice. And uh, with those spring traps there, actually, I'm going to move a spring trap like that. Uh, just kind of make it, I think that would also help, yeah. I think that will help because uh, I do see hogs going from there to there. As far as these little skelly traps, we'll go ahead and throw these guys up top too. Uh, I'm thinking this area might get hit with hogs. So we'll put these there. 
Uh, obviously, want them on ground, uh, so get those back on ground, and I think that might help a little bit too. Uh, pretty much first attack, and you can even put a troll test that in the corner, but the only problem is time isn't as much of an issue at Town Hall 8, so it's maybe not as effective at Town Hall as it is at Town Hall 9, but it's something to think about uh, if you're kind of a troll type person on your bases. I don't see it much, but it's something you could think about doing as I've talked about before. Let's go ahead and just get this stuff filled in. As you guys know, I don't like wasting time on this. So I'm just gonna kinda put it pretty haphazardly around the base. Um, and I think I might even have a fourth army camp. So I'll just ignore that one, use the, or no, what am I saying? You have four army camps at Town Hall 8. These are just upgraded, so just ignore that. And besides that, everything's normal. Uh, throw down these last few things. And uh, this one is a base, I guess. Uh, looks good to me. We'll take one final look at it. I did make it pretty quickly, and it has been a while uh, since I've done a Town Hall 8 base. So I want to make sure I got it right and that I'm not forgetting everything. Are there two drills or one at Town Hall? I think there's only one. Uh, yeah, I think there's only one. So anyway, uh, hopefully I left out everything that's from Town Hall 9. As you can see, I haven't done much in this account because it's only just a handful of walls, the queen and that elixir drill. But uh, this is the base guys, hope hope you guys, uh, hope this video helped and maybe it's has some uh, little tricks that you guys can take away. The giant bomb looks good to me at least. Uh, you could possibly have a single trigger coming from there to there. I don't think so. If you're really worried uh, when you make your base, maybe have the angle be a little tighter uh, so you can avoid that. But I think we'll be good there. And uh, yeah, everything's looking pretty good to me though. This kind of giant bomb spot didn't end up really happening, but you still have the... Oh, I didn't even catch that. Yeah, this isn't looking as suspicious. Uh, that's one thing you got to remember is that you follow through with your uh, giant bomb spot, but because this one isn't looking quite as valid uh, now that I look at it, so I'm going to have to slide this stuff up, uh, which, you know, it happens. Uh, put that there, and then... I'll throw this cannon down one uh, to uh, kind of clump those defenses up, so to speak. And then I think this one is looking a little better. What we can even do is throw a mortar here just to add a defense, make it look a little more believable. And uh, yeah, I think they'll probably suspect they're being Teslas or something. So I think that's still a good spot. And this one is pretty uh, hard to uh, see. You have to really uh, you know look at the base for a while and kind of visualize. Uh, where this stuff could be. But anyway, I hope the video helps. This was a Town Hall 8 base build. So let me know if you guys like it, if you want me to do more in the future. Although I'm going to be focusing mainly on Town Hall 9, 9.5, and uh, Town Hall 10 once I get there. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.